Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My sweet name is Muihaki Getao. This is a very short video of how we went for grocery shopping with my daughter and our nanny. Yeah, I hope you stay tuned, like, share, comment and subscribe. And let's get to see what I bought. What did happen to the last ten? I ran away with my life, fast forward, never turn back again. It's kind of funny that the more we pass time, the more we need to set the rewind. And 19 was the year I had to leave you, but now I'm seeing all the signs. Yes, this really Look at me, say cheese. What are you buying? Eggplant. That is called eggplant. Yes, it's called an eggplant. And this is this is courgette. And this is cucumber. This is what is called cucumber. Yes. Life lessons come one in a dozen. The other eleven get something from nothing. I sit here looking for an answer Maybe the biggest question was in the last chapter You gave me the soul I have today So guys, I was at the market and this is everything I bought These are ho-hos They are going for 100 shillings and you can imagine all of these In fact, they were around 60 shillings And I bought 4 limes at 20 bob In fact, I was given even more These are like 6 And they were going for... 60 plus 20 that was 80 shillings uh kasuku of waru's potatoes they were going for 130 shillings and this is kunde we love kunde in this house all all of these batches were going for 50 shillings i bought carrots and this pack you can see how big it is was going for 50 shillings and this is minji Minji, we love Minji every time I have guests <laughs> and there's a Kikuyu, you must cook Minji for them. And this is, these were going for 130 Kenya shillings. We have tomatoes, all this batch was going for 100 Kenya shillings. We bought two cabbages and each was going for 35 shillings. And these are Danias, each was going for 10 shillings. A batch was going for 10 shillings. I don't know why danias are still expensive. Ah, onions. The price of onions is still high. And a kilo was going for 130. And this is just a kilo. Half a melon was going for 100 bob. Yes. And this is ngwashe for breakfast with potatoes. And these were going for 50 shillings. Three pineapples were going for a hundred i bought the three of them i bargained for the three of them at a hundred bob yes and this is broccoli this was going for 25 my daughter forced me to buy broccoli <laughs> but i'll cook it for her she must have seen it in cartoons that's why she loves broccoli yes that's why she's fascinated about broccoli and these are two um these are two um chicken these are two how can i call them two two whole chicken and each was going for 550 so you can see how much i saved by buying from the market directly i bet if all these tomatoes i bought them from our local kibanda they would cost more than 200 Kenya shillings. Ho ho in our local kibanda goes for one at 10 shillings and I was buying three for 20 shillings. You can imagine I was saving around 10 bob. Yes, and potatoes in our local kibanda, I think it's around 140, 150. Yes, so you can bet, you can see how much I saved. And the kienyeji skuma, each batch goes for 25 and I was buying three for 10 shillings. You can see how much I saved, guys. But if you find half time, go and shop from directly from the market instead of buying from Kibandas. You'll have saved a lot of money. Yeah, so that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I 
Yeah. Etana, what are you doing? I'm filming. Gonna follow, follow. Say cheese. So look at me and say cheese. So we can walk around with you. Eh, eh. Go round. Look at mommy. So guys, I got overwhelmed and I was not able to shoot every activity that my daughter got involved in. But basically, there's horse riding, there's boat riding, there's a bouncing castle. Yes, there's a trampoline. Yes, it's a good place, though the, I didn't like their food as much. Yes, and their services in terms of food. And serving food is quite slow. So basically, you would want to go to this place when you're full. So guys, I was not able to finish filming this video. My daughter got sick in the process during the week, but she's now feeling okay. We took her to hospital and she's now feeling much better. I was also very busy this week. And so even on Wednesday, I was not able to upload any content. Forgive me for that. I love being consistent. I love being consistent, but I'm so grateful that even on a week where I was not able to post content and even share content from my fellow youtubers that I like guys were still subscribing my watch hours were still adding up so I'm still grateful to God and more so to you guys so thank you so much and may God bless you abundantly yes so thank you so much for watching this vlog let me know what you think about the vlog yes and i can't wait to show you lots of content coming up so stay tuned remember to like share comment and subscribe and see you on the next one bye bye the 29 and i find myself wondering what did happen to the last 10 i ran away with my life fast forward never turn back again it's kind of funny that the more we pass time the more we need to set the re